Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all yeah, boys and today we're gonna go ahead and review 98 rated Prime Pele first of all rest in peace to Pele absolute football legend Unfortunately that he passed away a couple days ago. We're looking at a card that's 5'8 high medium right foot 5 star skill moves 4 star weak foot 95 pace 96 shooting 93 passing, 96 dribbling, 76 physicality, and he has the finesse shot trait. Now, the chem style we're going to go ahead and give Pele today is the basic. We're not going to touch the car when it comes to chem styles. The reason for that is that everything is really high when it comes to all stats. Everything is basically 93 plus. With the basic, the sprint speed gets maxed out. Attack position, shot power gets maxed out pretty much. The passing gets maxed out pretty much with short passing vision. Agility, ball control, and dribbling gets maxed out basically, and it adds a little bit of strength to the car because he is only 5'8", but usually Pele has a thick body type in game, which I do like running with the card, so it enables him to not get bodied off when he goes against like players like VVD, you know, Lucio, and those type of players. So Pele is going to be playing with this team right here, pretty solid team, and Pele is going to be playing in a 4-3-2-1 as the lone striker right in front of Ribery and Griezmann so the main thing we want to see with Pele is how much worse is he than R9 is he better than R9 is he better than Cruyff and all those questions you know because a lot of pros do prefer Pele to R9 but we're gonna have to see the vibes with this card and see how good he is all right here we go again number one versus FC TYTY let's see what type of team he rocking with let's get back line good midfield and okay attack so we'll see the vibes with our card What a start to the game from Pele. Holy shit, that goal was nice. Good try, man. Dribbling so far, feeling pretty nice from the card. Fuck, just a little too much power. I was trying to Travella that. I don't know why he shot with the weak foot. Pele. Pele, you gotta make the. Fire dribbling. Oof. Okay, dribbling. Look at A1 right now. Oof. Oof. That would have been fucking a golasso that went in. Good goal from Pele to make it 2 2, man. The left stick dribbling. Very, very smooth from the card. Trying to hit Pele right here. Little scoop turn. That was fire, man. If you get that scoop turn animation, ain't no catching up to him. So that was a good goal. Pele with the weak foot? It's the post, unlucky. My god, he's cooking with the dribbling, but the finishing is just a little suspect right now. Try to hit Pele right here. Alright, at least Pele makes that one. At least he scores that one. Pele by himself. Let's go, go, go. What a ball from Stevie to Pele. Pele with the shot cancel. Couldn't finish with the weak foot. That was such a good cook. Pele with the weak foot. Nah, 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 nah. Pele, 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 Pele. What am I seeing from you right now? It's a good ball. Holy shit, what a dot. What a dot from Gerard and good finish from Pele. Oh, Pele's wide open. Pele's wide open. You got to score that one. All right, let's go. Good goal. Oof, good goal. The first time finish right there. Oh, Pele's through, Pele's through, Pele's through, Pele's through. Nice. Good finish from Gerard and nice assist from Pele. Gonna be a rage quit. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my verdict on the card right now. All right, guys. So 98 rated prime Pele coming around 5.1 
million coins by the time I dropped this video on the market. 8.5 on the PC. We played five games with the card, 10 goals, and two assists. Now comparing the Prime Palette to the World Cup version, which I did review earlier, earlier this year, excuse me. The Prime has minus one pace, does have plus two shooting, he has plus one passing, he has minus, excuse me, he has plus one dribbling, and then he has one better physicality as well. So he has everything better than the World Cup version except the pace, right? Except the pace. Now, Pele, guys, extraordinary card. Uh, let's get right into the pros. Pros is the pace. He is a very, very rapid, guys. One of the fastest players I've used in FIFA 23. Absolutely insane with that 95 pace. And he was killing it. You know, he was killing it with the defenders, making those great runs. And that's going to transcend into another pro he has from the card is the attack positioning. 97 attack positioning. This card is in dangerous areas all the time. Another pro from the card, the dribbling. Everything is 93 plus with the dribbling. Pele is one of those cards where he is just one of the best dribblers every year. Similar to like Messi and Garincha. Very, very nice on the mob. Very smooth with every skill move you perform. The responsiveness as well is very nice. Even if the gameplay is bad, Pele is going to feel good on the ball. Another pro of the card is the strength. Previously, early in the video, I said that Pele is, is only 5'8", but does have 76 strength. It did go up a little bit more as well with the basic chemistry style. So he kind of has like a, a thick body type in game Pele. Not like Eusebio, but it's thicker than players like Cruyff. So he doesn't get knocked off the ball that easily. Now, let's get into the major uh, point of this card, which is the finishing. So, hear me out, guys. Pele did score 10 goals in five games, right? Now, he has 98 finishing on the card. Personally, with the proper verdict, in my opinion, with this Pele card, and it's similar to every single year, in my opinion, I think this is kind of like an issue with all the Pele cards. And... I think it's what separates him from R9 from not being as good as R9 uh, when it comes to the finishing aspect is the weak foot. I think Pele finishing with the strong foot is very consistent, one of the best in the game, but weak foot is a little fraudulent. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So that's going to be the only con I'm going to give to this car Pele is the weak foot. It's not, you know, it's not Cristiano Ronaldo weak foot level. You know, him being 5'4 is nice, but if he was 5'5, five, five, oof, you can't have an argument for the best card in the game. But that's the only kind I'm going to give it to this Pele card is the weak foot. It's a little fraudulent at times. Um, he'll score some goals with the weak foot, but then there will be some noticeable times where he misses a clear-cut chance. And you're like, damn, you know, maybe I had a Cruyff there or R9. He would have banged it in because he has the five-star weak foot, so... Just be on the lookout for that, for that, guys. If you guys hate players that are 5'4 and not 5'5, five, five, you know, just, you know. But other than that, other than that, Pele is a phenomenal card. One of the best I've used in FIFA 23, and that says a lot. So, this card is beyond usable at this stage of the game. Um, I don't think he's worth the 5 million coins, but he's a very good card if you do want to buy him off the market. And rating-wise for this 98 Prime, Pele is going to be a 9.3. 5 out of 10. Only thing holding him back is the weak foot, in my personal opinion. So, yeah, guys, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Prime Pele or any Pele version that you used in FIFA 23. If you guys enjoyed them and if you guys, you know, have a problem with the weak foot as well. If not, you're chilling. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next player review I will be dropping will be very, very soon today. Enable those notifications. It's going to be Prime Steven Gerrard. We're going to see if that card is usable at this stage of the game. So thank you guys a lot. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.